Our next guest says, if you can imagine it, they can make it. So welcome to <laughs> Chef Tyler Williams, owner of the Cooking Besties. Hi, Chef Tyler. Hi, how are you? Great. We're doing great. Having Good. an amazing day. Yes. Tell us about the Cooking Besties. Yeah, so we're a catering company. Um, we started in 2020. I got laid off from my job and uh, in May. And so in June, I started the business and kind of just took off from there. Um, started in my mom's kitchen, nice, um, wow. which is kind of crazy. Yeah. Shout out to um, and we've yeah. grown to be such a big business now, and it's just been amazing. That's, That's fun. incredible. Yeah. King Besties. What's behind the name? Yeah, so I started the business with my best friend, yeah. um, and it kind of was just random. And she was like, we should cook. And I was like, well, what's the name going to be? The Cooking Besties? And that's how the name yeah. came Cooking about. Besties. And so yeah. now all of our employees are the besties and all that good stuff. So yeah, it just works. That. Oh my oh, gosh, look at fun this. Name. Look at that. What are we seeing there? Is that, a that is a charcuterie spread. We Ooh. did that for the holiday season season cool. for one of our private uh, customers and they loved it so yeah oh, that, that is how it's awesome. done yeah you're about to show us how it's done mm. yes when it comes to some french toast here what yes. are you making specifically uh so this is a peach cobbler french toast yeah. we launched it at our latest our last brunch of uh, uh we did the first one this year um but it's a peach cobbler french toast uh it went crazy yeah um we did it on social media and everyone loved it and okay. so oh let's get it yeah we just did it step one what we got uh first thing you're going to do is take some of the heavy whipping cream okay you want to pour it in that bowl all right we so you can pour all three of those in there. All right. This Don't is be shy. Legit, right here. Yes. yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. You gotta okay. have the good tools. Yeah. Got some heavy cream. In yeah. There. Good okay. job, right? And then there's gonna be some egg over there. You can go ahead and put that in there as well. Right. Okay. Here we go. And then the next thing you're gonna add in there is just a little bit of that um, spice mixture. It has like brown sugar, okay. sugar, Ooh. nutmeg, okay. a few other things mm. we can't tell you guys about. No, that's all. You Secret. tell me when it's okay. okay. stop. Yeah. <laughs> keep going. Okay. Keep going. You wanna make sure it's good and seasoned. Okay. Yep. Yep. And that's perfect. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So All right. Good. Yeah, it's really good. Oh gosh, you probably can like eat it. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, that's, that's good. And you're gonna really take good. that whisk right there. Here, you're gonna go ahead and whisk, whisk it. Okay. Whisk it. Da, na, na, Make sure you incorporate those eggs in okay, and yeah. also the other spices. Good job, Jill. I mean, not really. That's a, you're just being <laughs> nice. Like a pro. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. You want me got you want me to do it? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, come around around here. yeah. Okay. I think I think you're better at this. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick as well. So when you're making French toast, you don't want it to be like a soggy bread. I like okay. mine to be like kinda like a bread. Yes. Still know it's like toast, but also a little bit exactly. sweet, right? Okay. So I kinda dip it. Okay. And I take this piece and I rub it on the other one to kinda get the excess mm. off of there. Oh, that's so a that good way technique. it's not super soggy, right? Oh, I good love technique. that. And so you're gonna put that on there and then you'll keep that one in your other one in your hand. Yeah. And you want to have it, just kind of take it around here, right? Okay. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put it on that flat top. Oh, to cook yeah, it, right? we are. And these yeah. are thick pieces yeah, of bread. Yeah, you want <laughs> thick bread. That bread is thick. Thick with two Ks. You want, it to, <laughs> you want it to be thick because if you don't have it thick, it's not going to be the way you want it to be, right? <laughs> okay. Thick. Um, yes. Because French toast is supposed to be thick. You don't want thin bread. No, right? no I don't want Who that. wants that? Nobody yeah. wants that. No. Yes, and I always wear gloves because you are dealing with eggs. Okay. Yes. All right. Yep. And so you want to kind of be safe and make sure uh -huh. you're not cross contaminated. You can go ahead and just put that whisk down in there. It's good whisk. Yeah. yeah. Really good. So. And they were playing the final countdown while I was doing <laughs> <laughs> The key to this is you want to kind of make sure it gets brown, but you don't want it to get too dark because it will kind of burn a little bit. Okay. Because there is sugar in there. Oh, yes. that's So, right. and it's yeah. cream, and cream burns fast as well. Mm. So you want to keep an eye on it. Okay. So if you don't, you're going to have burnt French toast. Right. Start over, and right? you don't want that either. You don't want that, right? You want to anger the fruit. Yeah. So while this kind of <laughs> cooks, so that mixture over there, that peach cobbler mixture. Yes, right here. We're going to bring that right over here. Okay. okay. Oh, it's warm. Yeah. Oh, oh that smells so good, Yeah, too. so this is, so you can use fresh or canned peaches. Okay. Oh, perfect. Uh, we okay. prefer fresh ones, like, yeah. you know, but you got to be in season. Yeah. So when they're not in season, you can use canned. Um, I go to Kroger, get mine. Love perfect. it. Perfect, yeah. yeah. And so we'll put that right on top. It smells like this is about ready to be flipped. Okay. Just right. about, it's, going, it's getting oh, there. Oh, that is smelling so good. It's starting so, to get some Now, color. where does this come in? The mint? The mint? Yeah, that yeah. goes right on top. Just for like a garnish so it doesn't, you know, okay. makes it look nice. I learned, I learned you need to oh, smack, smack it, it to What's wake it up. Yeah. Aero Aromatics. Aromatics. Yeah. Aromatics. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's, right. That's it. Yeah. So let's that. go ahead and check these out. So this, I think this one right here is ready to be. Chef oh, Tyler, where can people find you if they're like, yes. if they're thinking. Where can you, they find you? Uh, yeah. yeah. So we, ha we have a new website. Okay. Uh, it's tcbesties.com. They can go there. They can do their inquiries there. Um, it's a brand new page, all mainstreamed in one area. Yeah. Uh, all my information's on there. Social media is the same. The Cooking Besties on all platforms. Nice. Uh, so yeah. 
Simple, easy, all that good stuff. Well, uh, we are running out of time, and I'm so sad because I just want to hang out with you forever. Yes. yes. But we've got all the information <laughs> up on that screen. We are finishing up this French toast. Yeah. We're going to put a little bit of that peach on here, a little bit of garnish. Yeah. And thank you so much. Thank you for we'll having me. We'll show the me. finished version up on our social media. Yes, we yes. Out there. yes. Thank you. TCBesties.com. <laughs> Go check it out. <laughs> thank you. Coming up next, the owner of Tim Bar will give us a taste of some of her allergen-free protein bars and bites and let us know which local farmer's market you can find her at. She has, actually has a discount as well, just for Indie Now viewers. We'll be right back.